Hello everybody and welcome back to 8-Bit Cooking, or whatever I called it before now. It's currently 28.5 degrees Celsius, and what's the one thing you probably not want to do in this heat? Cook! So, what are we going to do? We're cooking! We're going to cook what appears to be a can of 30 year old meatballs, right here. I found these at, well, somewhere, and uh, they look awful. So I think it's the perfect thing to try cooking. Now, this should be a relatively low effort thing to do, seeing how it's coming from a can. But uh, if it turns out not to be, this is going to be a real problem because my computer does not seem to be working properly and I can't log in to edit it. So this will be problematic, to say the least, most likely. Another thing is, I uh, can't find the can opener. Except I probably know where it is, but I don't care to look for it. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to find the most convoluted possible way to open this can. I'm back. That didn't work. Also, there's a fish here now. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so now that I've found the can opener, this should be a breeze. Should be pretty simple. Um, I believe it works like this. There we go. And you just turn it. Now you should expect a little bit of resistance, especially if you uh, have a can with a particularly uh, interesting past, just as this one might have, as you can tell by the battle damage on it. Who knows where this thing has been? Very, very tough to open. Ah. This may take several years. Got it. Now I just scoop the lid out of there. Wow, that looks horrendous. I suppose we should probably put this in a pot, although reading the directions beforehand may have been a good idea. Oh god, this is disgusting. Um, directions, empty contents into an empty saucepan. This is not a saucepan, I've messed up already. Place over low heat, stir occasionally until thoroughly heated. Read the can before you put it into a not saucepan. All right, well, you heard the can. Um, we should put it on to low heat. So I'll take this burner. I guess, I don't know which burner is the best burner. I did know, but I've forgotten because my brain is useless. So I'll say low heat is around setting four. Although your oven is probably completely different and this has no bearing on the heat whatsoever. Um, yeah, so we'll just set it to that. And uh, we'll just wait a bit. Now the problem is I have no clue what thoroughly heated should be. There's also options for microwave cooking, which I'll just say now, it seems like a horrible idea. This doesn't even look remotely tasty. They don't even try to make it look good on the packaging itself. It looks awful. Look at this. I mean, it's all tarnished and everything too. But look at those meatballs. They don't even look good. At least if you're gonna advertise an awful product, you should make it look at least semi-decent. But uh, no, th those meatballs look pretty awful, actually. The meatballs are quiet. Who's breaking into a car while I'm trying to shoot a cooking video? You dare? Stupid idiot, trying to cook nasty people. Oh, 
Well, as you can see, the meatballs still look disgusting and nothing has changed. So I'm going to start stirring because I think that might do something. So if I shall grab a spoon from back here, there are no spoons. This is, this is a problem. Uh, aha! Ye old wooden thing. This should help. I'm not sure why the tripod's handle is so loose, but that's not important. I'm stirring this because I'm bored. I don't think it's going to have any bearing on how gross this ends up being. The gravy honestly looks more like rancid jello than gravy. It's got the consistency of disappointment and the meatballs look like cocktail sausages that have been smushed up into balls. Um, there is a good chance that that's just what they are. I think this heat might be too low, so I'm going to instead switch it up to six and a half. There isn't a six and a half setting. I've just decided to be indecisive and can't figure out whether I should set it to six or seven. So it's midway. I thought the sauce was moving now. It's just a reflection of the ceiling fan. On a scale of one to 16, how disappointed do you think Gordon Ramsay would be with me? No, I don't even think he'd use the scale. He'd probably just shoot me on sight. Oh! Bad mistake. Don't smoke a can. Well, in the meantime, we might as well read our ingredients. We've got first and foremost water, formed meatballs, mechanically separated chicken, beef, toasted, waste of meat, fava bean, and proteins and salt, modified cornstarch, enriched wheat flour, glucose, fructose, salt, monosodium glu glutamate, glutamate, caramel color, and spice extract. It contains meat. Pretty sure it might have already said that. It's got 210 calories per half can. It's got 22% uh, fat. It's got 24% saturated trans fat. It's got 75 milligrams of cholesterol. 100. Oh, sorry, no, I misread that. That's uh, 1120. That's 1120. It's got 100. <laughs> So 1,120 milligrams of sodium, that's 47% in case you're wondering. We've got 11 grams of carbohydrates, which is 4% in case you're also wondering. It's got one gram of fiber, also somehow one, well, somehow also 4%. Um, there's a dent in the can, don't know how much of a percent that is. Uh, it's got two grams of sugar, 11 grams of protein, it's got 0% vitamin A, don't know why they mentioned it then. 0% uh, vitamin C, also don't know why they mentioned that. Uh, it's got 10% calcium, good, good, good for your bones in preparation for Spooktober and Skeleton War. And it's got 10% uh, iron. Can I make a chest plate out of this? So, it's been zero seconds since you saw me last. Um, nothing has happened. At all. Uh, there's still some more in here, just some... Oh, why did I do it again? I'm gonna turn it up to seven and a quarter. Again, due to my indecisiveness. No, I can't come over right now. I'm cooking meatballs. Yeah, meatballs. From a can. What do you mean that's weird? Of course, well, you've never gotten meatballs from a can before? There's, there's nothing weird about getting meatballs from a can, alright? It's perfectly normal, I assure you. Alright, completely standard practice for all meatball eaters, I, I assure you. Your wife died? Why didn't you leave with that? You led with the meatball point! Of course I'm confused, it doesn't make any sense to lead with the meatballs. If your wife is dead, then why didn't you tell me that first? I, I, yes, I think it's more important than the meatballs. Why are you so hung up on the meatballs? I'm the one cooking them, not you. You've got milk on the stove, too? Why are so many things happening at your place? Oh, hold on, hold on, my, hold on. I, I said hold on. I've got meatballs that are burning here. The meatballs are starting to bubble. I'm not sure if that's good, so we'll turn it to five and a half. 
Also, not really sure what happens to this meatball in particular, seeing how it's got what looks like a bite mark chewed out of it. And uh, I'm not that eager to have these, especially not well prepared. So I know it wasn't me. The story behind that is a mystery, that's for sure. They do seem hot, so I think it might be all right to eat now. I'll get a plate. We've got a plate now. Um, I'll just turn that off. Um, it looks awful, I don't recommend it. Come on, come on. Oh wow, that looks disgusting. Uh, now to go with this absolutely awful meal, I figure I'll pair it probably with the worst drink to go with it. I'm gonna go get some root beer. And um, yes, this is still smoking. The oven is off, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, too much residual heat, I suppose, so I'll just move this off that burner and I'll just put it over here and hopefully it goes down within a reasonable amount of heat. And uh, time for root beer, no? To the fridge! Root beer. And to be specific, flat root beer. Oh, not that flat, apparently. Off-brand selection root beer. Not the finest, but you know what? This isn't the finest meal to begin with, so we might as well make it twice as awful while we can. And, uh, yeah, I don't see how this could get any any worse already. So I just, I guess uh, I need a fork. And I might as well get a knife so I can feel at least moderately fancy while I'm at least ruining some part of the inside of me. All right, we've got root beer here. We've got this stuff in front of us. So take a little bit of... God, it's so soft. It's like cutting through butter. Damn it, I knew it! It just tastes like a cocktail sausage. This is terrible. Oh, there's nothing enjoyable about this. We got one solution to this problem. I'll have to drink it out of something different. Oh, thank God. The taste from the meatball has gone from my mouth. This very well might be the worst meal I've had in my life. I can't say I'm surprised. It's terrible. All right, yeah, all right, bye, John. Well, uh, I can't say I recommend eating 30-year-old awful cocktail balls. It, it's, it's not good. I, I, there's, there's nothing salvageable about this. If I had a garbage disposal, that wouldn't be enough to serve this meal what it deserves. It, it's terrible. I wouldn't even feed this to anything. Like, not even... No, it's just bad. I've had dog food and that's been better. I've even had, like, the cat food that looks like an awful pate and that tasted better than this stuff. It's terrible. I can't recommend this at all. But, if you for some reason feel like ruining your intestines, you can, you too can prepare this incredibly simple, but incredibly awful meal in the comfort of your own home. There's only one thing that can make this worse. What can I add to make this even, somehow even worse? <laughs> I've got an idea. First thing first, we grab some almonds. Next, grab yourself, I don't know, 
grab yourself some barbecue seasoning mix. I can already tell this is going to be much, much more. Parmesan. Why don't you uh, just grab yourself some soy sauce too? Yes, there is this dance. Ah! No! Now we can truly make this a horrible meal. All I gotta do is add these ingredients. And I'll offend everyone everywhere. Sprinkle some almonds in there. Put some parmesan. Actually, it doesn't look half decent though. Now we've got four choices here. We've got steak and chops, medium uh, piri piri, lemon pepper, and Texas barbecue. You know which one I'm gonna pick. Now, now I've gone too far. I think I've created something that even something from the darkest reaches of this world would be afraid of. That's horrifying. Well, I gotta say, looking at it doesn't actually look all that awful. Actually, who am I kidding? Yes, it does. This just goes to show that everybody's true potential is yet to be unlocked, because I never knew I could create something so evil with my own hands, and I haven't even added the soy sauce yet. This will either ruin me or just straight up kill me. You know, we're doing the outro from here. Thank you for watching. Never do that. Ever. You know, you can, you can, you can go off the video now. We're done here. You know, this bathtub is wet. We have to change shirts. Haven't left, huh? You got more patience than me, that's for sure. I mean, to be fair, I haven't left either. I'm still in the bathtub, aren't I? Well, yeah. Mentos, the fresh maker.